Transportation firm XPO hitting an all-time high on quarterly results. Despite some weakness in the overall freight market, Frank Holland spoke with the CEO and joins us now. Frank, this is interesting, not just because XPO is up 13%, but freight and the industrial part of the economy has been so weak. We'd love to see this maybe be an inflection point. Yeah, absolutely. That was one of the things I talked to with about uh, CEO Mario Harik about the fact that we're in a freight recession and the company was still able to post these numbers. So let's get to it. You can see the shares are up double digits right now. Top and bottom line beats are the main reason that XPO shares are moving higher. However, there could also be an election trade here. Analysts have flagged that XBO and other players in the less than truckload space, they could be potential big winners if former President Trump is reelected and if tariffs are expanded. The potential tailwind of, tailwind of tariffs is something that I spoke with Mario Harik about. The current administration has maintained the tariffs from the Trump, Trump era tariffs. And overall, that helps the, the, our industry as a whole, because the more you have industrial companies moving their manufacturing plants here to the U.S. or Mexico, there is a higher likelihood they're going to move that freight on a less than truckload with a less than truckload carrier than they would with a full truckload carrier. And that leads to more demand in our industry. So I think medium to long term, that movement of having more and more companies build that product here in the U.S. or somewhere in North America is going to be helpful for our industry. Eric also cited the softness in the freight market, Kelly, that you were just talking about, uh, but said overall they saw increased demand from some customers in tech-focused electrical and machinery businesses, about two-thirds of the volumes for XBO and most LTLs. They come from manufacturing and industrial sectors. I also asked him about the impact of the East and Gulf, Gulf port strike. He said there wasn't really a material impact to his business. And then I also asked him about the labor dispute and others. XBO does not have union workers, but previously had employees at some sites form a union. Herrick said it's not something that's really on his radar. However, he is very focused on Fed rate cuts. The bigger impact on our business is actually what happens with the interest rates. So as interest rates come down, what you see is the industrials or, or companies spending more capital to buy goods from industrial companies, which would stimulate the next industrial cycle. And when you think on the retail side, lower interest rates lead to the consumer having more confidence. And XBO uh, on pace for its best day in just about a year. Again, a lot of confidence from Herrick about the idea of interest rates and also the potential of a tailwind from tariffs. He didn't, he didn't want to get too political, but he says if tariffs are expanded, there is a potential tailwind. That's interesting uh, stock to watch election night as well in the weeks after. Frank, thank you very much. Kelly, Frank Holland.